Welcome my friend, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. Let me roll the intro and get into it, working on my cargo trailer today. This video is sponsored by Renowned Cargo Trailers. Today I'm working on my Renowned Cargo Trailer, trying to get a little bit more of the prep work done. It's been a little bit slow going. Uh, the prep work is to put in the interior walls and the first one of those interior walls that I'm putting in will close off the back of the cargo trailer so that I have a sliding glass door in there and the rear ramp will become a rear deck. Let me show you. Here you can see the rear ramp is down. This is in the position that it will ultimately be for the rear deck. Uh, I'm not sure yet what kind of jack stands or how I'm going to support it right now. I just have some five gallon plastic buckets under there that were left over that are about the right height. Uh, things have been a little bit slow and that's because, well, as you may be able to see here, I'm not sure exactly what I did to my shoulder, but it is extremely painful for me to reach above my head. Um, I know that after I heard it, I was trying to reach underneath a cabinet and behind something. And that act of just reaching to get something off the floor, a scrap of paper or something, just totally torqued the shoulder and hurts extremely bad. So I've been in a sling for a number of days. And so I need to go to an urgent care or a doctor to have this thing looked at, figure out if there's something actually in the joint or if I just need to immobilize it and get on some, I don't know, pain meds or something like that. Um, right now I'm just on ibuprofen and have my arm in a sling, try not to use it, but that has slowed down things for my build. I did make a little bit of progress, and I think that probably I torqued my shoulder while I was lifting sheets of plywood. Um, I've completed two out of the three walls and trying to change the plywood so that it is uh, eight feet tall instead of eight and a half feet tall and change the orientation from horizontal to vertical which you can see my explanation in the last video. So now I'm working on the last wall, which is the wall with the power on it. And behind me, you can see a sheet of plywood, a small sheet where I mounted all of my electronics, the inverters, solar charge controllers, items like that. And so today I've got to disconnect my power and pull that panel off, which is going to be a real pain to do with my shoulder. So I've enlisted the help of somebody camping nearby, a guy named Greg. And so today I have a friend here, Greg, who is camped right next to me, and we're out in the Arizona desert, and a few days ago I noticed that he had a step van over there, and a step van that I've not seen before. I sort of have an eye out for those things, having been a step van owner. So I walked over, introduced myself, and that's how we met. That's right. So, by the way, I should mention at this point, I have done a tour of his rig, which you've probably never seen before because it's a new build, and that's on my other channel, Nomadic Home Tours, so I'll link that above so you can go over there and check that out and see a rig of, uh, and see his build and what he's done. So, anyway, he's volunteered to help me out a little bit today. My arm and shoulder is sort of messed up right now, so he's able to do some of the upper end stuff, and he's a brilliant person for figuring out and troubleshooting easier ways to do things. has made my life a much, much easier, uh, has made my life much, much easier because of his ideas and insights, so. It was the least I could do. Well, he's, he's brilliant, <laughs> he's brilliant. He has a background in architecture, so I think that, uh, mindset really helps in his uh, skill set, which I don't have. I did not shoot any video during this project, and that was my fault. No, I've actually mentioned this in several videos before. When I'm working with somebody else in the moment through the project, I just want to focus on the project, the quality of the experience with the other person, and I feel it's almost rude to pick up the camera. And so, unfortunately, you as the subscribers suffer because of that, but I feel like it's a better experience and more efficient. If you have to stop and pick up a camera every time through this thing, it would have taken forever. Right. Uh, Greg, what do you think of the project? It's going great. Uh, we went start to finish without any hiccups. Yeah. That, that's surprising. When they, you only have like one board that we had to trim a second time, right. that's pretty amazing. And we were only, what, maybe an eighth, quarter inch off on the one yep. piece of plywood. And everything else went uh, perfectly. 
Everything uh, is back the way Seven wanted it, and the, the rest of it is piece of cake. Yep, let me show you what we've got going on, and uh, you can see what we've been working on. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be working on this wall later and putting the plywood back up, so I don't necessarily need Greg for that right now. But we pulled all this out, we've adjusted the top furring strip all the way up there at the top, and lowered it down, which involved uh, trimming that foam. And then we've mounted our two metal studs, which will define the walls of the bathroom where you see the plywood and the bedroom off to the left, off to the back. And we put one sheet of plywood back up and remounted my uh, power components here and lined up the battery so that everything would be in place uh, so that I can rewire it. So I'm going to let Greg go here and then I will spend the next hour or so rewiring my solar, getting it back up and get my fridge back online. And I'm going to have lunch. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a good idea too, but I need power to do my lunch. <laughs> well, it's a little bit later in the afternoon. I have the electrical hooked back up. The wires uh, from the battery are back in. So I have power going back to my fridge, which was down for about an hour and a half, something like that. And I've made some progress on putting in some more of the plywood panels in the vertical position. But that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment, and I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.